I will be putting out a full review, non-spoiler edition and spoiler edition, on this channel tomorrow at 7 a.m. Central Time. So if you don't want to be spoiled, there will be plenty of opportunity for you to turn away once I do it. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on all so you can see all my future content and get notified as soon as I upload that one. Without further ado, let me go ahead and just get into the post credit scenes right here. Because I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I'll explain more in depth whenever the movie review comes. But the mid credit scene was the best part of the entire movie by far the mid credit scene is fire i absolutely love it we have an assembly of kings the three top kings which basically the lead one seems to be pharaoh he's modeled after pharaoh he's like king ramatat or something like off the comics there is another one uh the the other one seems technologically filled he looks a lot like the uh, original kang and then the other one seems to be like some sort of wise scholar or something. I'm not exactly sure how to describe him. But those are the three Kangs who probably kicked out the Kang in the real Kang in the bad guy version of this movie. They probably kicked him out. They all assemble because they have realized that Earth has become a multiversal threat. They're like, wow, they can actually destroy that Kang? Well, then we need to start taking them a little more seriously, like the Qs and the Q continuum whenever it comes to humans. So they are basically going to go to war with them. We're going to, they're going to manipulate the situation something somehow. But that was honestly the best part. The designs, the accents that they gave him, seeing all those Kangs that have come together. And there are different types of Kangs, different variants of Kangs that are aliens. And one of them, and this is the big time, guys, is a scroll. Can you imagine a Kang with the entire Ramatut clan behind him of other Kangs and a scroll? I'm so excited for the scrolls, guys. That is going to be such a big story. It's going to be so huge. Something that we can relate to possibly in real life. Infiltrators of our system. People who are faking to be other people. Man, I cannot wait for that. They better do that story correctly. And the other post credit scene is showing a variant of Kang who has gone back in time to basically forge a new empire and he's basically like going to be the next abraham lincoln but we also have loki there <laughs> we have loki there and mr owens of course is right there with him but loki they have discovered where this original kang has started his infiltration of that timeline how he basically took it over and they're going to do something about that now. But that, that's basically what it is. He is just, he basically, what this guy is, in this version of King is trying to do is approach all these rich investors so they can build this time machine way back in like the, you know, 17, 16, 17, 1800s or something like that. And so that he can build his empire from there. Something that probably similar to Pharaoh did, you know, that version of King. But that's where he chose to be and end up at. I don't know why, but he has this whole gray beard going on and everything, looking the part. But that's what it is right there. That one, it's just more of a setup. It's good to see Loki, you know, back on the screen. But there wasn't anything big about that. But that mid credit scene, guys, oh my god. I The designs are so perfect. I'm so hyped, when, especially on scrolls, that we're going to be getting a version of, you know, of the Kang that looks like that. I am super hyped to see what their story is all about. And I trust him as an actor to be able to follow through on it. But though, if you have any specific questions about the movie... And the post credits, especially, they will happily answer them in the comments. But those are what it is. I'm sorry I can't bring it to you on the screen. Marvel is really, really getting the copyright on these ones, like, hardcore. They do not... There has not been one video leak that has been allowed on shorts or anything like that. So I'm sorry about that. I wish I could show you, but I got I'm already on hot, you know, thin ice with YouTube. I gotta watch out for that. So smash that thumbs up like like button. Subscribe, hit the bell for on all, so you can see all my future content. Like I said before, leave comments for the messed up YouTube algorithm. Even if you don't say anything or have any questions, put smiley face, put algorithm comment. It really helps out the channel with everybody that you do, and whenever you do that, share this around with everybody that you know, so that everyone can also be notified about this and of that movie review, non spoiler and spoiler edition coming out follow me on my social media platforms too like facebook rumble twitter instagram tiktok bitch you honestly links to that me description first comment too there should be some tasks popping up on the screen right now of other content thank you if i think y'all enjoy if not let's take your fancy check out the rest of my channel there's something on here for everybody early screening movie reviews for basically every major movie baki the grappler dragon ball anime fiction content usa fight content my own professional fights 
political humor, all sorts of good stuff on there. And that's basically it. Thank you for listening to me rant about that. I can't wait to see what y'all had to say about this. And whenever y'all go and see the movie, come back and let me know what y'all thought about it. Peace out, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the night. He is known as the-